Welcome back for another MATLAB Minute. If you're new to the channel, this is a place to get quick explanations, tips, and how-tos for all things related to MATLAB. Most of the channel's content is inspired by real questions from undergraduate engineering students, so hopefully it's relevant and helpful. In this MATLAB Minute, I'm going to show you how to export plots the proper way from MATLAB. If you've been coding with MATLAB for any amount of time, you've probably had to produce a plot and either put it in a report or display your plot uh, to some audience in some way. Um, there's many ways to export plots, and I want to show you some of the, uh, what I consider to be the incorrect ways, as well as what I consider to be the proper ways. So what I'm going to do here is just create a, a, a little bit of a script to generate a plot. Put a grid on there, maybe we only need to run for two seconds. Okay, so we've got some plot here. This is some data. Now, uh, if you're a student or a researcher, you're, you're going to need to display your data um, in a professional manner. And, and the first thing that you may be inclined to do is to simply take a screenshot. Uh, this is one way you could do it, and uh, probably the most straightforward way to um, display your data. Uh, so over here, I've just got a basic document. What I can do is simply paste that plot, and I'm basically done. I've 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 exported my data. I can display it in this fashion. It's just it doesn't look very refined. It's not finished. Okay. So what, it, what basically we have is just an image. Um, it's just a screen capture of the the figure that popped up, right? So it's not scalable. Notice that if you zoom way in or try to blow this up, you get, you know, you see the pixels, it's very grainy. And then of course there's this gray background, which is unsightly. Okay, so um, how do we how do we do this? How do we get a you know transparent background or at least a white background um, and, and have the plot such that it's a scalable um, uh, image? Okay, there's a couple of ways to do that. First thing you could do is you could actually go to edit. And if you go to edit copy figure, that'll copy this figure to your clipboard, but it will do so in a slightly different way than the screenshot. Okay, so if we paste this image here, we get a much nicer looking plot. And if I zoom in here, I can zoom way, way, way in. Notice that the uh, the lines are crisp and clear, and that's because this is a vector image rather than a raster image. If you're unclear about what the differences are, a raster image like a JPEG or a bitmap or even a GIF file, those are basically just matrices of pixels. And so if you try to scale them or make them larger, you can actually see that pixelation. Uh, whereas a vector graphic is basically a set of instructions for the image to be constructed from from vectors so it's scalable and you'll never lose that resolution the only issue with the edit copy figure option is that you can copy it once and paste it into a document but as soon as you do that you don't have that image anymore you don't have the actual figure file whatever type of research you're doing or whatever types of assignments you're having to do you may want to save a set of figures to refer back to at some point um, so if you want to actually save the figure the proper way, what you'd want to do is go to File, Export, Setup. And this gives you a big menu, um, a lot of options for how you can export these figures. Um, the first thing you may want to do is go to Rendering, and notice that by default the custom color in W is, uh, is checked. If you apply this to the figure, notice what happens to the background. So the background actually turns white, and it turns white because there actually is not an easy way to export a transparent background figure from MATLAB. Um, uh, a cursory internet search will, will, will show you that there are some options that you can use. Um, for example, there is uh, a pretty decent uh, function that you can download from the GitHub on the file exchange, which allows you to somehow do some um, pretty nice uh, transparent backgrounds for MATLAB plots, but that's an additional step. Okay, so this is basically you got to download the file, put it in your current path so that you can use the functions associated with uh, the export fig function. If you don't want to go that route, what you can do is you can come over here, again this is file export setup, and you could just set the background color to be W or white. Um, this is going to be fine as long as the document you're producing is a white background, which for 99% of the cases, 
um, that's that's the scenario. Okay, so this is one way of sort of simulating a transparent background, the, the simplest way from within MATLAB. So if you apply that, now you can go ahead and hit export. And when you hit export, you get a choice for the format. And what's important here is to understand the differences between all of these different uh, choices. There are some subtleties between all of these, but fundamentally it's the difference between having a raster image versus a vector image. And so if you use like a bitmap or JPEG or PNG or uh, even a GIF if that's an option, you're basically going to have a flat raster image of just pixels. So those are not going to be scalable. I prefer the EPS, which is encapsulated postscript. This is a vector image, um, and so is SVG. Some of these other options are going to give you that, that choice um, to, to export a, a vector image as well. But the one that I prefer is EPS. So if we just say fig1.eps, then I've actually got that figure file. And with that, I can actually just import that into a, a document if I so desire. So I can just insert um, a picture from a file, and then I can go and find that figure file, which I have stored in my documents. Okay, what that's going to do is very similar to what the copy figure does, but it does so in a way where you can store that, uh, that file for later use. Okay, and again, if I zoom in way close here, it's a vector image, so it's going to come out super clear, no pixelation, and we have the transparent background, or sorry, the white background in this case, which appears to be transparent on a white document. Okay? Uh, so these are uh, a, a few different ways you can go about exporting your uh, images to a document. In order of sort of worst to best, I would say that the, the screenshot is probably the quickest, but it's definitely the least attractive and the, uh, the least professional. The copy figure option from MATLAB does a good job. Right? It gives you a scalable transparent background image but again with the copy figure option you don't have the actual uh, plot file anymore and then finally by going through the file export setup options you have the ability to now save that figure file and uh, import that into a document and I think this is probably the best way of, of doing this. Okay, so in future videos we're going to talk about um, sort of the nuances of creating these plots and, and potentially how to export them into other typesetting environments like LaTeX as well. Okay, so for now this was your MATLAB Minute. I'll see you in the next one.